Our next uh, inductee will be Ernest W.F. McCauley. I didn't know it was Ernest until uh, recently. To me, it was Toots McCauley. And as we went through the Wall of Fame process, I got to know his name better. It went from Ernest McCauley to Ernest W. McCauley to Ernest W.F. McCauley, and still Toots to me. <laughs> the uh, thing I wanted to mention about Toots is that he played hockey and baseball, but uh, I think baseball was his favorite sport, and uh, he got uh, sensible as he got older, I think. He was just like Ted Williams. He went fishing. So I'm going to call on Roy Sturmey to make introductory remarks. Mayor McLean, Deputy Mayor Woodrow, town councillors, inductees, families, ladies and gentlemen. Sports Wall of Fame Committee is again very proud of the fine selection of inductees who are being inducted into our Sports Wall of Fame, which is upstairs overlooking the arena. We wish to thank those of you who took the time to submit names of suitable candidates. We are also very pleased with those of you who are here to support this year's inductees. The longer the committee is involved with this undertaking, the more we are beginning to see that the town of Port Hawkesbury is indeed very rich in history of sporting activities. Sometimes we forget that we are more than just a baseball and hockey town. We've had a number of people who have been involved in different sports locally, provincially, nationally, and even internationally. We are still waiting to have submissions in sports such as volleyball, badminton, boxing, sailing, We've had a number of people who were involved as owners, trainers, and drivers in harness racing, and things such as swimming, and, we, and many, many other sports. We depend on the public to make suggestions and submit names and sports. And as I have said already, we've had a very rich history in sports. Our next inductee is a great example of an athlete that made a significant contribution to sports in Port Hawkesbury in the past. Mayor McLean, I'm very pleased as a member of the Sports Wall of Fame to be able to submit the name of Ernest W. F. Toots McCauley as an inductee to the Hawkesbury Sports Wall of Fame. Toots McCauley was born in Truro and received his early education in Truro and later moved to Port Hawkesbury where he finished his early education and high school. He later joined the Postal Service and became postmaster and served in that capacity for 42 years and four months and also for 19 years, between 1916 and 1935, he participated in sports, mainly hockey and baseball. The earliest information of his baseball career describes Toots playing baseball while overseas during the First World War. And it was well known that Canadians played on armed forces teams while in Britain. And during one baseball game, Toots played before the King and Queen of England. After the war, Toots returned home, and as a veteran, he volunteered with others to build a memorial baseball field, which has been said already is on a site where the Civic Center now stands. He resumed playing baseball in the local league, and also participated in the Strait of Cancel League and the Inverness County League. Although he played all the infield positions, it was in the position of catcher that he was most valuable. He soon was touted as the best catcher to have ever played ball in the area. As his reputation spread, he was scouted and was offered a tryout with a Major League Baseball team. Back in those days, the uncertainty of playing ball as a career probably had an impact on his remaining at the post office. He continued to play ball up to 1935, where he played first base in the Inverness County League. In the winter, Toots also became an accomplished hockey player. He played defense on the Strait of Cancel League Championship teams in 1931, 32, and 33. In most of his playing years, he was usually captain or the leader on most of these teams. After his playing years, he became a manager for various teams. He later volunteered as a referee and an umpire. Toots continued to follow hockey and baseball. He would drive to Sydney to see the Sydney Mayor, Millionaires and the Glace Bay Miners play in the 1940s. He continued to attend games in the H&D League 
and he followed the old NHL team league and also the major leagues in baseball. It is said that during the World Series, it would probably be the only time a radio would be permitted in the post office. I relate to that remembering back in 1972 when I snuck a black and white TV into a school so I could watch Henderson score the winning goal in the 72 Summit Series. We've come a long way, and I can just imagine what some of these people would think about cameras being introduced to baseball next year uh, to go over questionable calls. Well-known baseball coach John Bernal was quoted recently as saying, if anyone deserves to be in our sports wall of fame, it is Toots McCauley, because he was probably the best catcher to ever play ball in the area. Other old-timers agree that Toots McCauley played before his time and was one of the best players in his day. Whenever old-time baseball is discussed in the area, the name Toots McCauley is bound to surface. So with these comments in mind, Mayor McLean, I gives me great uh, appreciation to be able to submit the name of Ernest W.F. Toots McCauley as an inductee to the sports. All of you. guests, sports fans, and friends. Uh, Tuss may not sound like a very athletic name, but if your name is Ernest Weir Fawcett McCulley, Toots is not so bad. <laughs> if Toots McCulley were here today, I believe he would be quite amazed at this honor. He also would be very pleased. Our family would like to thank the induction committee, and especially Don da John Davis, as most of you will know, and was mentioned previously, John's father became postmaster after my dad retired after 42 years in that position. Thanks also to John Berno and Fred McGinnis for supporting the induction application. I recall dad, John Berno Sr., Huey John McIntyre, Harvey Malcolm, and others driving to Blaise Bay and Sydney to watch the millionaires and the miners play hockey games. And those were the days well before divided highways when you made the trip without at least one flat tire was considered a lucky trip. <laughs> I also recall Dad and I staying up late at night to hear the games on radio when those teams made it to the Ontario League. The reception was never good. It's imagined to, hard to imagine anyone listening to hockey games on the radio today without any visual contact text. Uh, last, I'd like to thank my family, um, my son Scott, my two daughters Carolyn and Susan, two sons-in-law, one granddaughter, three grandsons, and one niece, grandniece, came from Halifax. My sister Lorraine's daughter Mary and her daughter Megan came from Fredericton and they've all come to celebrate this induction with us today.